and students. In the last class, we finished about uh, derive V is equal to U plus E T using velocity time graph. We discussed it in the last class. Today we will continue that till how to derive S is equal to U T plus half A T square. V square minus U square is equal to T A S using this velocity time graph we will discuss now. So next topic will be derive S is equal to U T plus half A T square. Derive S is equal to U T plus half A T square using velocity time graph using this graph derive this equation so same consider a body having initial velocity u moving with uniform acceleration a same content will be take consider a body having Displacement. 
will be the final velocity of the body. Let V be the final velocity of the body after time t. Let S be the displacement of the body. Let S be the displacement of the body. Okay. So what we calculated, what same thing we considered. We had to derive v square minus u square is equal to vas we had to derive. Same thing we assumed. Then for this if you draw the vd graph, it will be in this format. Here this will be u, this will be v. Bc will be equal to change in velocity. OD value will be equal to T. Now, in this, to derive this, we will consider both. For V is equal to U plus AT, to derive what we can consider the slope of the VT graph. For deriving S is equal to UT plus of AT square, we consider the area of the VT graph. Next. For this, we will consider both. We will consider both slope and area. Then how to do this one? See. So, slope of the graph. Slope of the VT graph. I will see VT graph only. No need to mention. Slope of the VT graph is equal to. Here slope is equal to what we have seen. Tan theta. This value is equal to BC by AC. So slope will be equal to A. BC value is B minus U. AC value is equal to P. Then B minus U is equal to AP. Let it be equation 1. So by using slope of the graph, we wrote V minus U is equal to AT. Next. Area of the graph. Area of the VT graph. Area is equal to area of the trapezium OABCD. Or for that what we did, we divided that into two portions, rectangle and triangle. We calculated individually areas. If you want to calculate the directly, average length into breadth. Average length into breadth. Because this side, this side is not the same. Find its area means what we are, if it is a rectangle, what the formula? Length into breadth. But these two sides are different. Then find the area means average length into breadth. So this value will be average length means u plus v by 2 into t. In this point is understanding this side. This side, the average of this two will be u plus v by two, and breadth will be equal to t. What is this value? Area will be equal to s. So s is equal to u plus v by two into t. This two, this t will bring this one side and v plus u is equal to 2s by t. From this v plus u is equal to how much means? 2s by t. Here v minus u is equal to a t. Multiply it with these two, you will get 
get the answer. So 1 into if you do v plus q into v minus q. 1 into 2 if you do it becomes v square minus u square. Tau s by t into a t this value is equal to 2 a s. So v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s understanding. Or may I add one more step? If you multiply this two, what we will get? V plus u into V minus u. This one, this one. If you multiply this two, 2s two by t into a t. T t will cancel. V plus u into V minus u will be V square minus u square. This value is equal to 2 AS. Clear? Like this we will derive V square minus U square is equal to 2 AS using velocity time graph. Clear? So uh, these are in the theory part actually. So here integrated part means combinedly we are discussing the theory and we are discussing the need. There will be no separate segregation will be there. This is only for me. This is only for board like that. Some more depth we will discuss. Integrated part of this is. So, V square minus U square is equal to 2A. So, what we discussed? How to derive? In the last class, what we did? Uh, displacement time graph. Different types of displacement time graphs. Velocity time graph, different types of velocity time graphs. Acceleration time graph, what are the uses? Only one or two types of acceleration time graphs will be there. They won't ask in the examination. Next, after that, derive V is equal to U plus AT, S is equal to UT plus half AT square. V square minus U square is equal to 2AS. Using the last T time graph, we derived that one. Next. After finishing of this, next after finishing of this, some shortcuts we will see. Shortcuts is meant to save the time. Understanding? This will be asked in a particular situation. In a particular situation. Uh, this shortcut if you apply, you will get answer within the short span of time. In competitive examination, what will happen? Neat examination if we consider it. 45 percent will be there. And 45 minutes uh, what will happen? There is no totally 180 questions, 180 minutes time will be there. Means uh, physics 45 percent commonly uh, physics, chemistry and biology, botany, zoology, everything will be there. So 45 questions, 45 minutes time. Then one person in one minute. In that one minute what you have to do? You have to read, understand. Solve the question, mark the answer. Everything will be completed in one minute time. Okay? See here what you have to do is you have to increase your speed. Along with the speed, accuracy is required. Without going error, so every week we will conduct one exam here. By writing number of exams by practicing, how to manage the time, how much time you have to give for biology, how much time physics, how much time chemistry. Like that every you have to practice in this two years. That will happen here. Clear? Now, shortcuts will be useful to save the time, to get the answer in the short span of time. These shortcuts will be useful. Up to now we discussed about the horizontal motion. Body moves in the straight line. 
Then what are the equations of motion? Those we will discuss with. On that, any shortcuts as well? Let's see. First one. A particle. Started from rest. A particle started from rest. And moving with uniform acceleration. A particle started from rest and moving with uniform acceleration. One particle is this. It is started from rest, it is moving with uniform acceleration. In the mth second, in the mth second, it travels displacement. Yes, M. In the nth second of its journey, in the fourth second of its journey, it covered 12 meter. And in the nth second, it travels. Yes, M. Okay. In the four, in the eighth second, it traveled twenty four meter and is moving. Find then its acceleration. Calculate its acceleration. Like that, questions will be there. A is equal to S n minus S n by n minus n. This is one of the shots. Clear? In the mth second, it travelled a distance Sm. In the nth second, it travelled a distance Sn. Find its acceleration. Like that, if any problem is there, you have to use the formula A is equal to Sn minus Sm by n minus n. Okay, that is the shortcut. How this formula is gained? Here body is moving with the uniform started from this and moving with the uniform acceleration. Na? What is the formula displacement in the nth second? What is the formula? S n is equal to u plus a into n minus half. That is the formula. So using S n is equal to this formula u plus a into n minus half. Okay? How this is came? This shorted. How this is came? How this formula is came? So, in the first case, what will happen? S m distance. Initial velocity 0. a into n minus 1 by 2. So, this value a m minus a by 2. In the nth second, it travelled a distance Sn. So Sn is equal to 0 plus a into n minus half. This value will be a n minus a. Okay? So you subtract this two from this, you subtract this. Then Sn minus Sn. This minus this. A n minus A by 2 minus A n plus A by 2. This two will cancel. Take A as common N minus M. So A value finally we will get it as S n minus S n by N minus M. Clear? Like that we have to calculate the acceleration. This will be useful. Only this type of problem is came for you. Only this type of problem is came for you. This shortcut will be useful. Try to do this using the shortcut. 
try to do one problem. A body started from rest. A body started from rest. Write down all of you. A body started from rest and travelled 12 meter in the fourth second. A body started from rest and travelled 12 meter in the fourth second and 24 meter in the eighth second. Calculate its acceleration. So apply the formula. A is equal to Sn minus Sn by e. N minus N. Sn value will be 24. Sn value will be 12. 24 minus 12 by 8 minus 4. So 12 by 4, 3 meter per second square. Clear how to apply the formula. So like this. To save that time, these shortcuts will be useful. Here A is equal to what will happen? Sn minus Sn by N minus M. So take A common here. So this is A into N minus M. From that A is equal to Sn minus Sn by N minus M. Like that we will get. Okay, understand? Next, second one. Second, a body is moving with a body is moving with uniform acceleration. A body is moving with uniform acceleration. But Point A Its velocity is u and at point B velocity is v at point A its velocity Point B, its velocity will be V. Then, uh, what they are asking is, then velocity at midpoint of AB. Then velocity at midpoint of AB. So, is V is equal to square root of U square plus V square by velocity at midpoint of AB is V is equal to square root of U square plus V square by okay. Then how to do this one see? And take this as V1 for your convenience. Take this as V2. The point, so then this value will be V1 square plus V2 square by. Then how this is in C. So what is the question? Are you understanding this one? A body is moving like this. At the point E. What is its velocity? V1. At the point B, what is its velocity? V. At point A, velocity is V1. At point B, velocity is V1. C is the midpoint of AB. Here, velocity is V. What is its velocity? They are asking. This V value will be equal to how much? square root of v1 square plus v2 square by ok uh, then how this is came between a to c if we apply v square minus u square is equal to 2as from a to c if we apply the formula 
B square minus U square is equal to 3 AS. We will get to B square minus B1 square is equal to 3 AS. Next, from B to C to B, if we apply the same formula, this distance is always assumed as X. Because this is midpoint automatically, this distance will also be equal to x. v2 square minus v square is equal to x. v square in this can be from c to b. From c to b, b will be the initial velocity, v2 will be the final velocity. V square minus U square is equal to 3 AS if we substitute U. Then we will get V2 square minus V square is equal to 2 AX. Clear? Uh, then, these two are same, na? so equate this two. So V square minus V1 square is equal to v2 square minus v square. Bring this one to this side, this one to that side. 2v square is equal to v1 square plus v2 square. Then v is equal to v1 square plus v2 square by 2. v is equal to root of v1 square plus v2 square by 2. Like this. A car is crossing a bridge. At the starting of the bridge, car velocity is 10 meter per second. At the end of the bridge, car velocity will be 20 meter per second. What is its velocity at the midpoint? Like that, person will be here. Understanding? So, what is the formula is V is equal to root V1 square plus V2 square by 2. Next. After finishing of this, we will see the third one. What is that see? A bullet. So, yes. 1 by nth of its velocity. A bullet loses 1 by nth of its velocity after traveling through a wooden plank. After traveling through a wooden plank, bullet loses 1 by n of its velocity. The number of wooden planks, number of wooden planks required. Required to complete the stop the bullet. The number of wooden planks required to completely stop the bullet is n square by 2n minus 1. That is the shape. So, bullet loses 1 by nth of its velocity after travelling through a wooden plank. How many such planks will be required to completely stop the bullet means n square by 2n minus 1. Approximately that value will be n by 2 plus 1 also. That also you can take. How this is came? See. Here one wooden plank is there here. Here one wooden plank is there. A bullet hits the plank. This is bullet. 
which will last for you. Lotus Pampai and the which will last for me means remaining will last for you will be how much here is u minus u by n. Initial velocity is u. It hits the line with velocity u. And it came out with a velocity u minus u by n. Clear understanding. Then uh, one plank is required. Let the rest thickness of this will be x. From v square minus u square is equal to as what we will do. This is u minus u by n whole square minus s u square is equal to 2a into x one plank. But velocity bullet not came to rest. Like that I used m planks so that bullet came to rest. So final velocity will be 0. This is u square. This is 2a into m x. Clear understanding. Then divide this to then you will get the answer. Then what will happen? You expand this one. Um, u square or you simply you do u square you take common. Here what will happen? 1 minus 1 by n whole square minus 1 divided by minus u square is equal to 2ax by 2ax into m. Then divide that to 2ax, 2ax will cancel. This u square, u square will cancel. Then expand that. So minus of 1 minus 1 by n whole square minus 1 is equal to 1 by n. Clear? You had to find that value. Then expand this one minus of 1 plus 1 by n square minus 2 by n minus 1 is equal to 1 by n. So plus 1 minus 1 we cancel. So this is 2 by n minus 1 by n square is equal to 1 by n. Okay. So denominator it will be n square. This is 2n minus 1. This is 1 by n. m is equal to n square by 2n minus 1. Like this we will get the answer. Clear? So, bullet loses 1 by n of its velocity after traveling through a plank. How many such planks are required to completely stop the bullet means n square by 2n minus 1. This we have to use. Clear? Uh, then uh, you can use another formula. m is equal to n by 2 plus 1 also. Approximately n square by 2n minus 1 is equal to n by 2 plus 1. So we will use this formula also. A bullet loses 1 by 10 of its velocity after going through a plank. How many such planks are required to completely stop the bullet? Means what we have to do? Take n is equal to 10. So 1 by 10 of its velocity. So this value will be 6. If you use this formula, then this value will be 10 square by 2 into 10 minus 1, 100 by 19. It is more than 5. 5 point some. 3 approximately 5.3 like that it is coming. So 5 planks are not enough to stop the bullet. More than 5 planks is required means 6 planks are required to completely stop the bullet. So bullet loses 1 by 10 of its velocity after traveling through a plank.
How many such plants are required to completely stop the bullet means? Either we can use the formula x square by 3x minus 1 or you can use the m by 2 plus 1. Any formula we can use it here. Next. After finishing up this one, let us see what is meant by acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity. This is indicated by the letter G. How it will be defined? This is. After now, what we discussed in this class? Uh, v squared by S is equal to U T plus half A T squared. V squared minus U squared is equal to 2 A S. Both we derived using velocity time graph. Next, we are discussing some shortcuts related to this horizontal motion. Three shortcuts we discussed. A is equal to S N minus S M by N minus M. Velocity at the midpoint V is equal to square root of V1 square plus V2 square by 2. And how many plants are required to completely stop the bullet means N square by 2N minus 1 or N by 2 plus 1. These three formulas will be used. Next, acceleration due to gravity. Let us see the acceleration of A. The acceleration of a freely falling body. The acceleration of a freely falling body is called acceleration due to gravity. Freely falling body means what? A body dropped in the air. That body will be called as the freely falling body. For example, this is a body. This I am dropping in the air. What will happen? It will reach to the surface. Because what is the reason? Because the earth is having gravitational force of attraction. This body, body dropped in the air. That body will be called as the freely falling body. That body will have some acceleration. That acceleration will be called acceleration due to gravity. The acceleration of a freely falling body is called acceleration due to gravity. Clear understanding? So, this is indicated by the letter small g. This value is equal to 9.8 meter per second square in the SI system. In CGA system, if you consider this value, this value will be 980 centimeter per second square. Clear? Next. And uh, G value is constant at a given place, but its value slightly changes from place to place. G slightly changes, not too much. G value will be maximum at the poles, minimum at the equator. At poles, G value will be F is having equator and poles. At poles, G value 9.83 centimeter per second square. At the equator, G value is 9.77. Meter per 9.77 meter per second square. So, G value is maximum at the point. Slight reduction, not too much. And G value will be minimum at the equator. That values are 9.77 meter per second square. And poles G value will be 9.83 meter per second square. At a given place, G value is constant at Palahapur district. G value remains at the same. If you go to another district, Ratnagiri, if you went, small change may be observed because the size of the earth, comparing to that. Uh, Kolhapur and Ratnagiri are side by side. 
not too much difference you are getting mm -hmm. if you are like that if you are going from equator to the poles g value will slightly increases if you come from poles to equator g value slightly decreases that is about acceleration due to gravity SI unit, SI value, CGS value, sometimes they will ask the FPS system also, 32 foot per second square, that is the G value in FPS system. What is its dimensional formula? You know very well. Dimensional formula will be L P power minus 2. Clear? Next. After finishing our this, what are the equations of motion of a freely falling body? Equations of motion of a freely falling body. Okay, what are the actual equations of motion? Equations of motion will be 4, you know about it. V is equal to U plus AB. S is equal to UT plus half AB square. B square minus U square is equal to 2AS. SN is equal to U plus A into N minus of. These are the equations of motion. Clear? When body is moving with uniform acceleration. These are the equations of motion. Now, what are the equations of motion for a freely falling body? Freely falling body not having any velocity. We are just dropping the body in the air. So, this is the body that I am dropping in the air. No velocity is there. So, U value will be equal to 0. If it is freely falling, its acceleration will be equal to acceleration due to gravity. Its acceleration is equal to acceleration due to gravity. Its velocity value will be equal to 0. By substituting that values here, we will get what we will get this equation how to convert tell u0 a g then v is equal to g. And this one. We can use the same symbol s. Yes. Or we can use generally small h here in the place of s. So h is equal to u value 0. So this becomes 0. This becomes half g p squared. h is equal to half g p squared. Here this value g squared is equal to 2gh. This value same SN symbol only we will use. U0 so AG so it becomes G into N minus half. Is it understanding to you? So this formulas we will use for the freely falling body. So freely falling body write the equations of motion. V is equal to GT. S is equal to H is equal to half GT square. V square is equal to 2GH. SN is equal to G into N minus half. These are the equations for the freely falling body. Clear? In the freely falling body, ratio of the distance is covered. Like that it will be there, we will discuss that in the next class. Clear? 
So today what we discuss the form of CV, we derived S is equal to UP plus a half A T square, V square minus U square is equal to 2AS in this class. Three shortcuts we derived. You had to memorize that. Then as the formula, shortcuts will be useful. All problems won't have shortcuts. First remember. All problems won't have shortcuts. Only some particular type of problems we may generate. There is a chance to generate shortcuts. When that particular type of problem arises, you can apply this shortcut. Like that you remember. Then what is that? Body is moving with uniform acceleration. Starting from rest, body started from rest and moving with uniform acceleration. At the point, uh, then in the nth second, it probably a displacement SN. In the nth second, its displacement is SN. What is its acceleration means? Sn minus Sn by n minus n, that is its acceleration. Okay. Next, body is moving uh, in a straight line. At the point A, velocity of the body is V1. At the point B, velocity of the body is V2. Velocity at the midpoint of A and B, that will be square root of V1 square plus V2 square by that formula will be used. Next third one, body bullet loses 1 by nth of its velocity after traveling through a one single plank. How many such planks are required to completely stop the bullet means n square by 2n minus 1 or n by 2 plus 1. Next we discussed acceleration due to gravity. Next, equations of motion of a freely falling body. Four equations of motion will be there for freely falling body. V is equal to gt, h is equal to half gt square, d square is equal to 2gh, sn is equal to g into n minus half. Today with this I will start. Tomorrow we will discuss the vertically projected body. Body is projected vertically up. What is its time of ascent? What is its time of descent? What is the time of flight? What is its maximum height? Everything we will discuss in the next class. Okay.